Breaking out the Ruger 1022 today, testing some ammo, the CCI mini bag, 22 long rifle hollow point. This is 36 grains, advertised muzzle velocity of 1,260 feet per second. Out of the 20 inch barrel Ruger, I'm coming in just slightly less than that. 10 shot average of 1,244 feet per second. This is the 100 round pack, and cost per round, this is going to be a little bit more than what you would pay for just standard. Uh, big package bulk ammo. Some folks might use this for target practice, but others will use it for varmint hunting or small game. At some point I plan on uploading videos showing accuracy with the Mini Mag, but today we're going to focus on the block. If you're new to the channel, this is SimTest Ballistic Testing Media. When you buy it and it's already mixed for you, it's very, very dense. So I have recalibrated this so it matches ballistic gel specs. The BB calibration on this was 3.55 inches. That was at 10 feet. The length of this is 11 inches. You can mold it to whatever size you want. The width is seven inches and it's four and a half inches tall. We're gonna shoot this from 25 yards. And by the way, the block weighs 12 pounds. That's about the size of your average Texas squirrel. There's the point of entry, a little bit high, but it's in the block. Quick reminder, just keep in mind these tests are only a representation, controlled media, controlled environment, and obviously when hunting small game, you're going to have some fur out here. This is going to be a little heavy, and then you, of course, have bone inside the structure. So keep that in mind. I think some folks uh, see the results of these tests and run screaming out the door saying, holy crap, i got to have a box of that. It's the hammer of Thor. So let's just keep all this in perspective. Okay, uh, point of entry and then expansion starting about here, three-quarters of an inch in. A real impressive stretch cavity. Keep in mind, 22 long rifle. This is still kicking along at a pretty high rate of speed at 25 yards. But this runs about three inches in length. <laughs> That's comparable to some uh, handgun caliber testing we've seen at uh, 10 feet. I won't mention the caliber. But in any event, uh, expansion, nice little cavity opening up here. Now that's the left side of the track. Let's move down to the right side. Again, just cutting through the middle, so this is consistent. But that's really impressive for a 22 at 25 yards. The bullet settles down, moving along. We are at the 7, 8 inch mark. Keep in mind this block was about 11 inches in length. And there it is. Now I've cut this cavity open just so we could see it, but that is coming in at 10.25 inches out of a 22 at 25 yards. There's one of the expansion marks, but the average is 0 .408 inches. I washed out the media, but retained weight is still coming in at 36.2 grains. I was really surprised by these results, and I think this testing format is going to be an eye opener for us regarding the 22 long rifle. Thanks for watching, and you need no further instructions what to do next.